Josh Looney with you in the 65 Toss Power Trap Studios here at One Arrowhead Drive for this coach's corner. It's special teams coach Steve Hoffman that's with us. Coach, welcome. Thanks for having me. 2010, Kansas City Chiefs reclaimed the AFC West Championship. How was last year for you personally? Well, like any year, it's it's a you know a struggle because it's day in and day out, and you're trying to trying to accomplish what we did. I mean, our initial goal was to win the win the division, which we were able to do, and we know it's a struggle every year because. Uh, all, all the teams in the NFL are tough, and it's it's hard to win games consistently, and it's hard to win enough to win your division, and we were fortunate enough to do that. I've always wondered what your office is like, uh, say, mid-August. So there's 80 men on this roster, and you've got all these fringe players that know, and the Coach Haley is preaching to them the best way to make this team as a reserve is to contribute on special teams. So during that time, do you have guys knocking on that door saying, hey, I can play punt, or hey, I can play kickoff? For the ones that get it, for the ones that understand that, they come to see me and they beg to get on things. And, and sometimes they tell, tell you that they can do things that they really can't, and it's my job to try to put them in positions that help them contribute number one to the team, and then secondarily to help them make the team. But the ones that understand it and they know that the, the NFL roster is much smaller than a college roster, they know that that's the way they can make the team if they contribute on teams. So what are you looking for in those guys, especially on the kickoff coverage? I mean, all these guys can run, most of them can hit, most of them can tackle. What separates one guy from another on, say, a kickoff team or, or maybe one gunner from another when those guys are trying out for those spots? Uh, if I could just say, use one word, it would be desire. A lot of them can run, like you said, they're physical enough to hit, but they don't have that uh, you know, play in and play out, day in and day out, desire to go make a play. You'll see a guy run down the field, he'll be in front of everybody, but then he won't go finish because he just doesn't have that, that last second uh, intensity that you need to make the play. So we're looking for guys that can run, guys that hold up physically, but more than anything, I want guys that want to be good on special teams. We need people that are hungry to play special teams, that understand the importance of it, understand uh, their role in it, and how they can contribute to wins. Yeah, the Chiefs are a special team in the fact that, you know, you'll see guys like Eric Berry, who, who plays the more, most defensive snaps out of anyone this year, and he's also contributing on special teams. And you go right down the list, there's guys that are definitely contributors on offense and defense, not just on special teams, that are part of your special teams units. What's the conversation in deciding, you know, this guy, yeah, we can put him out there for, for more snaps than the next guy. How, how do you find those guys that can be core players on special teams and core players on offense or defense? Well, the younger guys seem like they can run forever. So with some of the older veterans, you need to be a little bit careful about uh, when you use them and how you use them. And there's, there's certain positions in special teams where you just need a good, smart, savvy player where it's not going to be as physically taxing for him. And you could put a, an older guy in those spots. The younger guys, you still have to be careful. If they're starting on defense or offense and they're playing a lot of snaps, you have to be careful that you're not uh, you know, totally wearing them out during the game and then possibly leading to injuries for them. So like with Eric, for example, he's, he's willing to do all the special teams, but I keep him off a punt team, for example, because I'd rather have him on the punt return team and then be the safety on the kickoff team, which is a role that when I was with the Cowboys, we had Darren Woodson, who was a starting safety and all-pro safety. He played, he played safety on the kickoff team his entire career. And uh, so Eric could play that role. Your specialty as a player was kicking and punting. So how pleased were you last year with your kickers and punters? You couldn't ask for three harder working guys that care more about their position and their role. I mean, they're all hard workers. They, they're self-motivated guys. It doesn't take a, doesn't take a, take a kick in the butt to get them going. I mean, they, they want to be the best. They want to be good. So in that department, you can't ask for more. And then they, they want to help me out as, as much as I can with doing what we need. It's not about their statistics. They want to, they want to kick the ball and, and snap it the way we need it to be done to, to uh, contribute to wins. You know, those guys kind of been the three amigos the last two years under you. Uh, and two of them have some pretty big personalities in Thomas and, and Dustin. What's it like working with the guys like that every single day? Uh, they, they can be characters now, but, but it's fun that way. And I think because they do get along they and they are such self-motivated guys, they work hard together. They, they push each other and they help each other at the same time. They support each other. Uh, and what I like about all three of them is I, I think the number one thing uh, the, those particular specialists need to have is they need to be humble. And they know they can always be better. They can always kick it a little bit better, a little bit further, a little bit higher. They can always snap it better, cover better, protect better. They don't get too big for their britches. So uh, in that regard, they're, they're great to be around. So we saw the team improve from 2009 to 2010. Goals for 2011, what do you want to see out of your special teams as a whole? Just continue to get better and contribute to uh, 
you know, the team as best we can. I mean, I'm not a big guy on stats, so I wouldn't say our goal is to lead the league in any one area. I just want to make sure that we, uh, you know, you do the things that don't hurt your team while you're doing the things that help your team. Uh, cut down on penalties, don't have any penalties, try not to have any turnovers, maybe create a block punt here or there, create a turnover somewhere, and just really have the guys just show more desire than they did last year to be good. Because last year we got a taste of winning the division, now we want to get further into playoffs and eventually get to the big game. So uh, I think overall our goal is just to, just to continue to work hard and get better and do our part to contribute to wins.